Hi, my name is Maria, and today I'm coming back with another Toshi Sander tutorial. In this one, I'm going to explore a little bit about point clouds. Uh, this has been one of my latest obsessions, and I want to share with you about this process. It's quite simple, as you can see the network over here. Uh, so, as always, I'm going to start with you guys. I'm going to delete everything. Just going to start from zero, and the first thing that we need is a point cloud file. So, in case that you don't have one, I'm going to share with you the one that I'm using in this tutorial. I did it in Scaniverse in my iPhone, so it's quite simple. Here, as you can see, the point cloud and is rotated, so I will need. Uh, point transform, so let's do that. Uh, in the point transform, I know already that I need to rotate negative 90 in order to have the proper um, view of my scan. I'm going to have a node, and this node is going to be used for the position. And I need to have the color, so I'm going to point file select going to use this point file and instead of positions I need red, green and blue. Um, and I need to convert those with a map to colors so in the range instead of 0 to 1 we're going to have 0, point zero from, from 0 to 255. That's going to give us the color going to add another null and this null is going to be call null call from colors we are also need to start creating the uh, operators so sub so for the um, instancing of this point so we need an add add points we are going to need a convert and we're going to convert the points to particles per point and we need to the particles that are going to be rendered as points prime as always a no from here i'm going to add my geometry with control i'm going to add geometry and i'm going to bring my camera i'm going to bring a render so I have them coming back and we are going to change the resolution of this render from 1200 to 19 by 1920 by 1200 but I'm going to swap these values and I need to uh, I'm going to use 1080 so I'm going to have this as my background. And this is going to be shown in here. I'm going to move a little bit here. And now we have like the setup. So in my geometry, I need to activate the instancing. Instancing. And I'm going to bring the position and my translate operator. And I have RGMB for the position. I'm also going to bring the colors. And we also need RGMB. Uh, here we can see that everything is correct. But in order to see the proper colors, I need the material. So we're going to bring a point sprite material. I'm going to add a node and farm the material. So now you can see it. I really like to use my own maps. So I'm going to add a circle to use as a color map. And I don't need a wide resolution, so I'm going to use a really simple 25 by 25 resolution. And I'm going to stretch a little bit this. And this is going to be my source of color map. So we are pretty close 
so after that I like to activate with a my camera I need to come over here and we can see uh, my geometry so this will be my camera view and um, so on point sprite I would like to manipulate this a little bit um, so let's go and move this a bit we need around here um, let's add more so we can have like better visualization and we can add to add a little bit of this and we can also play with the near distance and also with the far distance how the points are going to look uh, these are the cleanest scan but you can play with it um, after this I'm going to add the manipulation this is quite simple so I'm going to create a noise and my noise and um, I'm going to add both of the inputs from the point transform. I'm going to change the type to to Perlin 4D and I'm going to move this. So these are the ones creating the movement. And I'm going to add the Python expression up time dot seconds. And after that, we can start manipulating a little bit this, so that's going to move. Uh, if I add this, um, so we are going to, you can play with this uh, for, to however look your after if you want like bigger movement, um, a little one. If you move monochrome, we're going to have more uh, movement. So have a play with it. You can create like <laughs> really crazy it looks. In this case, we're not going for a super crazy look, but feel free to experiment. And after this, uh, something that if you follow me, you have been seeing. I like to have multiple cameras so I'm going to add a second camera and I'm going to add a camera blend so my camera blend are going to take both inputs um, and I like to take the activate this one and I'm going to start zooming a bit out so if I move this instead of blend, I change it to sequential. Sequence, sorry. And over here in the render, I'm going to change the render from camera one to cam blend one. Now you can see the other camera. So from here to here, you have two different views. And I like to animate the cameras with an LFO pretty simple but effective trick I'm going to add a mat and after that let's add a no this mat is going to range from minus one to one and because I only have two levels uh, two cameras I'm going to come the segments from zero to one so that's perfect and on the frequency I'm going to put it a bit slower because I don't need the camera to move super crazy and I'm going to bring this now as a reference so it's going to start moving everything in there after that I'm going to add like a background you can do it however you like I'm going to use a simple under and from this under, I'm going to bring a compass, a uh, constant. 
and this constant I'm going to change the fixed layer to input one and I have them swapped so I need to swap them like this uh, this is input two let's change this to the color I'm going to use black in this case as always feel free to play a little bit and I'm going to add a noise because I really gonna give that a bit of a nice lag and to change the period and the output I'm going to add the noise scale a little bit lower so it creates like not super granular but a little bit of more texture so after that we are pretty much done I like to play with two uh, operators for example the SSAO and with this you can create a little bit of deepness so over here you can see what is what start to create this is quite dark but in this case if I go like this I can create like a really nice depth you can also play with the point of view of the cameras so you can go closer in both cases and create like a more uh, narrow view going to have better frame rate and in the previous uh, setup I have on the palette a uh, feedback edge so I'm going to bring it and what we're going to do is to here reset so it has the same resolution and I'm going to bend this one uh, it's quite uh, harsh so I'm going to change this to black and this to a little bit of a gray um, and after that I'll start playing with uh, my uh, strength, the edge strength and this is going to create like a feedback loop uh, quite dramatic but I found like it was pretty cool the effect however you do you uh, whatever makes you uh, happy I reckon you can apply with the effects and that's in the palette so it's pretty accessible so that's all this is a really simple tutorial I reckon and you can have fun with it and you can bring your own point cloud and start playing with the effects you can come here and change the color so you have like similar um, colors of the plant or you can come to the point sprite and be a bit crazier I really like to go to like kind of the blue bluish colors and start playing with those and you start manipulating a little bit um, less the effect for example because you don't need like this crazy dramatic um, feedback now that you have um, the blue um, so you can do that or bring this as it was uh, so you don't have like that but I found this effect quite funky and I let's uh, pause because it's going to be really dramatic if we don't do that so you can have like more blood, uh, black level I really like it uh, but yeah this is all this is the tutorial 
have fun and let me know if you like it or if you don't like it or if you are more interested in other effects and I hope to see you soon I'm planning on doing more tutorials and uh, not with that big gap in the middle so see you soon guys bye